Hey guys, Ryan here for Active TV Blender. Yes, Blender, uh, Blender tutorials. And our last texture that we're going to be looking at is okay. This is quite a quick one, right? But you know, maybe you didn't know about it. And like I said, what happens often is you go and you, you source images and you try and look for one without a watermark and all that stuff. But meanwhile, your textures are right here in Blender. There are quite a few default textures that we've gone through a majority of these textures right here to show you what you can do with it and I just give a small little demonstration on what you can do with each one that might just spark ideas or might just oh yeah so that's how you get that texture man and I remember how long I battled and I could have done it right here so that's what I've done in the last couple of videos that we've been releasing so go check all of them out I've never done two in one I've always done one texture per video they're pretty quick and um Maybe you're interested in finding out how to work those textures or if you do get such a texture, well, go have a look at it. Look at the image texture, look at the gradient, uh, look at, um, we're going to be looking at this one next, the checkered texture. I've looked at the brick texture, I've looked at the musgrave noise, I've looked at the Vonoi texture, the wave, um, white noise I haven't looked at, but I think that's pretty straightforward. So. Uh, without any further ado, let's have a look at our last texture. So Shift A gives me this menu to add in any nodes. I'm going to add in the checker texture right here. You can see you can select two different colors. I'm going to connect that in color to color. If you're unsure about how to connect this up, I have released a video. Go check up way before any other textures, any of the texture uh, videos that I've been releasing in this series. I have done a video on um, nodes. So let's change my viewport uh, renderer to, well, to rendering. And there you go. Ta-da! Now you can see I've got two colors that I can choose. Look at that. Look how cool that is. Pretty straightforward. Pretty simple. Let's go complementary colors. There it is. That is your check a texture. I'm sure if you really start getting all fancy schmancy that you know if you start adding on other things they, they might just kinda. Anyway that's what I want to get. Guys that's basically the <laughs> you know why didn't I just release this um, um, <laughs> this with the other video because it's, it's really really that that simple that quite straightforward but um, yeah so that is the tech the the, the check a texture and that ends now the the different textures within blender series uh, next next week we're actually going to look at bump mapping we're going to look more into how you can actually add a bump map to it and uh, how just changing the different settings adjusting your shadows and uh, how even you, when you move the lights how it works with whatever bump map you put into it and yes so we'll be doing that next week well, in the next video, next week is for those who have watched this video fresh and uh, next video is for those who have not watched the video fresh. But guys, see you in the next video um, and please, if I can remind you, hit the like button or subscribe. Well, hit the like button and subscribe. How's that? Even better for you because you like this video, all right? And you like the other videos before. So like this video, hit subscribe because also if you go to our playlist, go check out our playlist on if whether you're on YouTube go check out our other videos that we've released this channel is not just uh, blender tutorials we've got a lot of other stuff on it and not just other tutorials we've got a lot of other stuff so go check that out so I'm gonna let you be go ahead go check that out until the next video cheers guys